Hello and welcome back to the Bookshelf Odyssey. My name is Art and today I want to recommend a scary story for you. Uh, so this month is of course Victober and I'm going to be reading a lot of Victorian works this month but I wanted to uh, record this and I'm recording this actually back in September because I, I just finished um, Darcy Coates collection of short stories and novellas called Ghost Camera. More on that in a minute but I wanted to talk about overall my history with um, reading scary stories. When I was younger, I loved to read them, um, collections of like ghost stories for children, uh, you know, things like that were really enjoyable. I like the occasional scary movie. I'm not a huge horror film fan. And then when it comes to books, I have not actually read a lot of scary stories. So a couple years ago, I started to read through some Stephen King. And I read mostly his mysteries um, involving um, Bill Hodges and and then Holly, that character, uh, and I really enjoyed them quite a bit. So I've been working through some of his back catalog, and, and goodness, there's a lot there. He he can be a little more um, gross and grotesque than what maybe what I like, but overall, I, what I've read so far, I've enjoyed. I haven't really I haven't read a lot of his big name stories like uh, It or The Stand yet. I haven't read those, uh, but I, I really like his novellas and short stories. Um, they tend to be uh, just hit me just right with the the equal amounts of, of horror and thrills and, and things like that. Uh, but uh, this year I decided I wanted to try to read and explore some more books in the horror genre and uh, see see how I liked it. And I've really enjoyed that experience um, if you enjoy scaring yourself. So uh, this book out next I want to talk about is called um, Ghost Camera. And I, I think it is a book you would enjoy reading during the Halloween season if you like scary stories. Now, uh, as I mentioned, the author's name is Darcy Coates. That's an author that's new to me. I have not read anything she's written before. Um, I did want to read her book called From Below. I believe it's been described as like a a cozy horror, which is a term that I re <laughs> I find really fascinating. Um, cozy horror, and I've heard people say that if you like scary stories but don't want them too scary, that she's a good writer to go to. Uh, you know, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm so new to the horror genre still. But Ghost Camera just freaked me out. Uh, several stories in that collection freaked me out, uh, which I'll talk about uh, really about two that are uh, in the collection. So uh, the first in the collection was a story called Ghost Camera, uh, the title of the, of the collection as well. And from what I read in the introduction, that was the first story she had ever written. And she kind of has re reworked it and worked on it and has it in a publishable a publishable condition now and so she would put it in this collection and that story is about uh, a lady finds a camera that uh, an old polaroid camera and when she takes pictures of herself like a, a selfie or any picture at all uh, it reveals ghosts and the more selfies she takes the more uh, the ghosts are able to actually interact with her and it is this this uh, it's about 100 pages long and it just brilliantly builds the the tension uh, as the more pictures she takes the closer the ghosts are coming to her and then like the final showdown kind of thing is just fantastic and had me just on the edge of my seat <laughs> through all of that i i find things of the supernatural to be interesting um you know some of it you, you wonder whether or not to believe or not but this idea that cameras can capture ghosts and, and you've seen pictures, I'm sure, of, of like strange shapes and lights and everything. But imagine finding a camera that reveals ghosts and all their horror. Uh, yeah, the the, um, the resolution to the story, I I, th I thought was was good. Uh, and unlike some of these sto stories, it, it does end on a, on a happier note. So I was glad to see that sometimes you know, those horror movies and, and stories, they have that final twist at the end and everything is uh, wiped out or, or dies or whatever, you know, anyway. Yeah, that that was a good story. And then uh, the run to Broken Ridge Lighthouse was an interesting idea. It, taking the, the uh, that uh, urban myth story um, 
and in this case it was if you um i i forget the setup now if, if you have to say the this deceased person's name or something but if you get her attention and you you have to run across the beach to the lighthouse otherwise um the story goes the the ghost will come out and and, and capture you and kill you um so there's a group of of, of people that uh, decide to try this out and um well, being that it's a horror collection, you can only imagine what what goes on um, if you find out the uh, the legends are true or not. That was a that was a good one. Um, one I really liked was called uh, Untamed Things, and the setup for that story is that there's a, a plane that crashes, and one of the ladies on board she survives, but at, at first she thinks she's the only survivor, and then she finds. There is a there was one other survivor and they have to try to make it um, across this um, valley in the middle of winter to get to the cockpit of the plane that crashed so they can radio for help. And it's a story of survival through this winter mountain region and trying to get to rescue, basically. And then something begins to to hunt them, and it's and it's not just a wolf or an animal. It's very much a something, uh, capital letters. And the, there's a couple of twists along with the story that I really enjoyed. Uh, and I, I can't really say too much without giving away spoilers for the ending, but uh, the way that was resolved and uh, everything, I I just thought it was brilliant. So we have to talk about the final story. It's called A Box of Tapes. And now for those of you who are old enough, you remember what a VHS tape is, right? So this is another novella, about 100 pages, which is just the perfect length for this. And it tells the story of a lady who just bought a house. She has a young daughter. She moves in. Um, she's single, uh, recently separated, uh, I believe. Uh, but then uh, she has a friend who owns uh, a junk shop in town. And uh, he was a, also a great character. But uh, as she's digging through her um, daughter's closet, she comes across this shoebox full of old VHS tapes. And inside the box, she's curious as to what this is because she doesn't recognize it. Uh, there's a note that says something like, uh, do not watch these movies or you'll regret it. Uh, something along those lines. So, of course... Uh, you know, you, you have to watch that. You, you can't just see a, a note like that and not, uh, you know, not read it or not watch them. So she goes to the junk shop, she gets the VHS player and starts watching these. And it's, uh, the first one is uh, a video uh, of, of, a, of a woman who looks horrible. And it's like this camera's just close up on her face. And, and uh, it, it, it is just grotesque and gross and unsettling. And, and then each video she, she watches throughout the story uh, is helping her. They're, they're weird and strange. And I, I don't really want to say a lot because I, I don't like spoilers. Uh, maybe I should have done a spoiler version of this. But uh, each video helps her to piece together a mystery that happened there at her house. And the, the creepy part of this is that she begins to think her house is either haunted or this woman in the video is still alive and has been invading her home and, and tormenting her daughter. Uh, you know, there's just creepy things like uh, her, her teddy bear goes missing and and her mom asks her, you know, the main character asks, well, you know, what happened to it? And she says, her daughter says something like, the the other mom took it <laughs> or the other mommy took it. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 that is, that is scary. <laughs> and then as it gets closer to the resolution, I mean, the fear factor is cranked up. The The mystery is it, it just is compelling. And it had me reading late into the night um, to finish it because I just wanted to know what was going to happen and whether or not this was an actual ghost story or whether it had um, a, a real world explanation or some kind of mixture of the two. Uh, and, and the ending was, was again, just perfect. Um, so if her novels are anywhere near as good as these stories were, then I'm going to really enjoy reading her as, as a new author, a new, to, new to me author. So I, I put a couple of her books on my uh, TBR list uh, next year. I'll be uh, getting, getting to, to read. Uh, they, they sound like the kind of ghost stories and, and horror stories that I think I, I might like. And, and again, you know, you might still think of her as a cozy horror writer, but I, I certainly didn't find 
really any of the stories in this collection to, to match that kind of a description. I think I know what they mean by that. But to me, these, these were just properly scary stories and were very well written. Like her first story, if that, were, if that was her first attempt at writing the story, I can kind of see the, um, like comparing that with the last one in the collection, uh, this, her writing quality has gotten better. Um, between the times she wrote those two stories, uh, M MJ on her channel, uh, uh, reading this life. Uh, sorry, MJ, I forgot your channel name. Uh, she talked about this collection, I think, or was this, um, on the nerdy narrative. I, I need to keep better track of these things. Anyway, but MJ on her channel set, mentioned that a book uh, was so scary that it made her want to go to uh, go to church. <laughs> uh, and I really like that as a description of a horror story. And uh, the, the, the story, this story, a box of tapes, I'm like, yeah, I, I got to get I got to get to church here. And <laughs> so that's been fun. And I'm looking forward to reading some more books and stories that are, are scary and horror. I, I find ghost stories and haunted house stories especially are some of my favorite ones to read. Another good one I read this year was um, How to Sell a Haunted House, I believe it's called, uh, from uh, Grady Hendrix. That that was good. Uh, kind of taps into the, the creepy doll uh, vibe if you like those kinds of stories. And, and yeah, who doesn't? Well, my wife, for one, apparently. She read it first and gave that book a big old nope. <laughs> Anyway, if you, again, if you're uh, just a shorter video today, but if you're looking for a good um, October read to get you in the mood for Halloween or, or the scary, spooky season, I would definitely recommend Ghost Camera by Darcy Coates. Uh, all right, that's all for today. And until next time, make sure you hunt responsibly and take care. Happy reading.